Good morning, Gretchen. How are you? Today, inshallah, we will start with chapter 13, lesson 3, mutations. What we mean by mutations and what are the mutations? Mutations are any heritable changes that will change the DNA and by this change, the functions of other proteins will change, okay? Let's take a look of types of mutations. We have two main types of mutation, either gene mutation or chromosomal mutation. So gene or chromosomal. When we talk about the gene, we are talking about small sequence of the DNA, while when we talk about the chromosomal mutation, we are talking about a huge sequence or large sequence of DNA. Let's start with the mutations. What do you mean by mutations? Mutations are heritable changes in genetic information. Let's start with the first type, which is gene mutation. Gene mutation involves changes in one or a few nucleotides. So we are talking about a nucleotide, the ACTG. So if there is a change in one or a few nucleotides, we are talking about gene mutation. Okay. Also, we have a point mutation, which is single point in the DNA sequence mutation or single nucleotide change. Let's check the point mutation types. We have three types of point mutation, either substitution, insertion, or deletion. Again, we have three types of point mutation, which is one of the gene mutation, substitution, insertion, or deletion. Okay, let's start with the substitution. This is the sequence, okay? We have the DNA sequence here. The substitution mutation, when we change one of these nucleotide, if one of these nucleotide is substituted with another nucleotide, then there will be change in the mRNA, and at the same time, there will be change in the amino acids after the transcription and translation. So this is the sequence of amino acids of the original DNA. This is the sequence. And after the substitution, which is changing the C into T, then we will change the arginine into histidine. And that's one of the gene mutation um, effects, okay? This is the substitution mutation. All of the time, the substitution mutation take one amino acid change. Sometimes this amino acid will not change because some of this mutation will give us another codon for the same amino acid, okay? Let's check now the insertion. The insertion mutation is when we insert a new nucleotide. So this is a new nucleotide. It's we're not here in the beginning. So TACG here, TACAG. So we add an extra nucleotide. In the case of insertion, we will change all of the sequence, all of the sequence of amino acids after the insertion mutation. Let's check the deletion. Here, we remove the G from the sequence. And in this case, we missed one of the nucleotide that it's needed for the arginine. And now there is a new codons, which will face new amino acids. The insertion and deletion, by the way, they are two mutations that they have a huge effects on the chromosome or huge effects on the gene uh, and they are giving us different amino acids at the end of this mutation. Is that clear? Okay, let's move. Again, this is a substitution. Usually the effect one single amino acid and sometimes there is no effect. Insertion and deletion. If a nucleotide is added or deleted, the bases are still read in groups of three, and that will cause something known as a frame shift mutation. What do you mean by frame shift mutation? Frame shift mutation, they shift the reading frame of the genetic messages. Again, they shift the reading frame of the genetic messages. Frame shift mutation can change every amino acid that follows the point of the mutation and can alter a protein so much that is unable to perform its normal function. So the frame shift mutation are known as insertion and deletion. Make sure you understand and memorize this point. Let's now move to the second type of the general mutation, which are known as 
chromosomal mutation. For the chromosomal mutation, it involves changes in the number or structure of the chromosomes. This mutation can change the location of genes on the chromosomes and can even change the number of copies of some genes. There are four types of chromo chromosomal mutation, either deletion, duplication, inversion, or translocation. Deletion, duplication, inversion, and translocation, these are the types of the chromosomal mutation. Let's start with the first one, which is the deletion. When we delete a part of the chromosome, this is a part of the chromosome, okay? So we have this sequence, it's were deleted here. And this will give a huge effect, okay? So deletion involves the loss of all parts of that chromosome. We have a specific part of that chromosome, and the deletion will affect all or part of the chromosome. Let's check the duplication. We have gene B here, and after the duplication, we have now two B genes. In this case, duplication produces an extra copy of all or part of the chromosome. And if we have an extra copy, that means a huge production of the same proto protein. This is the inversion. The inversion, when we reverse the direction of parts of the chromosomes. And finally, the translocation occurs when part of one chromosome break off, breaks off and attach to another. So this is a segment from another chromosome, which is break off and then attach to my chromosome that's called translocation it's changed the location from one chromosome to another let's check the effects of mutations again the effects of mutations on genes vary widely some have little or no effect and some produce beneficial variation some negatively disrupt gene function mutations often produce proteins with a new or altered functions that can be useful to organisms in direct different or changing environments. We have something called mutagen. Mutagens, they are chemical or physical, sorry, chemical or physical agents in the environment. And the chemical mutagens include certain pesticides, a few natural plants, alkaloid, tobacco smoke, and sometimes environmental pollutions. What do you mean again by mutagen? Which is something that will induce the mutations and cause the mutations. Okay, so again, chemical mutagens like pesticides, natural alkaloid plants, tobacco smoke, and environmental pollutants. While we have physical mutagens like electromagnetic radiation, like X-ray and UV. If these mutagens interact with the DNA, they can produce mutations at high rate. High rate. Some compounds interfere with pace pairing, increasing the error rate of DNA replications, other weakening the DNA strand, causing break and inversions that produce chromosomal mutations, and cells can sometimes repair the damage, but when they cannot, the DNA pace sequence change permanently and that will harm the cells. We have two types of mutation, either harmful or helpful mutation. The effect of mutations on genes vary widely, and some will give a positive effect, some will give a negative effect. Whether a mutation is a negative or positive or beneficial depends on how its DNA changed relative to the organism situation. Mutations are often thought of as negative because they disrupt the normal function of genes. However, without mutations, organisms cannot evolve because mutations are the source of genetic variabilities in a species. Let's check the harmful one. The defects or the defective proteins produced by this mutation can disrupt normal biological activities and result in genetic disorders. Some cancers, for example, are the product of mutation that cause the uncontrolled growth of cells. So some of the mutation will cause uncontrolled growth of cells that will lead to the cancerous tissues. Also, we have the sickle cell disease, which is a disorder associated with the change in the shape of red blood cells. And this sh shape, sh shape change from the round cells into a sickle cells uh, appears long and pointed because of the change in the genes, the mutation in the genes. Okay? Sickle cell disease is caused by a point mutation in one 
of the polypeptide found in the hemoglobin that bloods principal oxygen carrying proteins. Among the symptoms of disease are anemia, severe pain, frequent infections, and stones growth. And that's all of the symptoms for the sickle cell disease that's caused by point mutation of one of the polypeptide in the hemoglobin. Some of the mutations are beneficial or a positive mutations. Okay, they give us a variation and we have a highly advantage to an organisms or species. For an example, mutations have helped many insects to resist chemical pesticides. Some mutations have enabled microorganisms to adapt to new chemicals in the environment and that is a good one. Plants and animal breeders often make use of good mutation like when a complete set of chromosomes fails to separate during meiosis, the jammy that results may produce triploid or tetraploid organisms, or as we call them, polyploidy. Okay, the condition in which organism has an extra set of chromosomes, it's called polyploidy. And they, once they found that some chemicals will induce this mutation that will use it as a hormone to increase the growth of some plants, okay? Polyploid plants are often larger and stronger than diploid plants. Important crop plants, including bananas and limes, have been produced this way. And polyploid also occurs naturally in citrus plants, often through spontaneous mutation. And that's all about the mutation. Thank you for listening today, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.